For many of you who don't know Brett's story, he opens the uh, the book talking about being in Atlantic City, being at that <laughs> being at that bus terminal. It's a great way to open the book to show the contrast between where you were and where things are now. I thought there was a great quote there where you said you made the decision to start to use ABA outside of your nine to five, and that's when things started to turn around for you. Some of the worst times in your life when you're at rock bottom seem to be times that you decide that you make a change. The things that mean the most to you suddenly become very clear. Whatever I was doing, every, <laughs> every waking moment resulted in destroying my family, heading towards bankruptcy and being bankrupt with the business. My support system was just falling apart. And when that happens, your foundation is friggin' rocked. And when, when those things happen, we've all had those experiences, all of a sudden that's the moment that you're like, I'm making a clear decision. And making a clear decision was that the science works wonders and there's five key principles. How do you not, how do I not just apply those to myself 24 hours a day? We like seeing people successful. We like helping people. I, like if I'm training, when I see somebody smile because I smile at them, you might say, all right, hey, that's instant you know, behavioral karma. If you just want compliance out of people, well, you're gonna not involve them in goal setting, you're not, you, you know, they're gonna be doing all sorts of things that they don't value. They're not gonna see value in the vision or the mission or whatever goals the company's uh, you know, working towards or, or even within your own household. People have to understand you know, why whatever they're doing is important to them. And if you make it a win-win for them, they say, hey, this is good for me and it's good for us. That's a great thing they have. And Brett gave me gave this term. We talk about it. They have skin in the game. That is really important. We're, and, and, and managing, and, and, and leaders have to manage as well, right? You, you, you know, managers can lead and leaders can manage. Most people, I would say, desire purpose. Most people desire that. Once your basic needs are met, you know, you have food, shelter, some of the things I didn't have. <laughs> sleeping in the bus station but like once you have those basic needs met one of your desires or most people's desires is purpose so my worst times in my life and many people that I know their worst times is when they don't know their purpose or they don't have one I think also by using you know these these five principles that are like gravity I, you know it can help you find your purpose one of the parts that Brett wrote in the book that was really important was about trust. And that is in when it comes to like hiring people, working with people. And that is like, if you, you'd be better off hiring for will over skill and in or trust over skill, because if you trust the person, if you have that relationship with them, you're probably going to stick with it and work through things when there, when there's mistrust, that becomes a huge problem. And part of what that question leads to is that if you're open and you admit to making some sort of mistake, you're really kind of putting money into that bank, that trust bank with somebody to say like, hey, I'm not perfect. And if I make a mistake, I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna let you know that I made the mistake and you know, here it is. It was difficult to write about and thank goodness Polly does the good, the writing. and. I wasn't sure if I should talk about it, but Polly kept saying it's a good idea. But listen, some of the most difficult things that require all these models, like addictions, like there are all these 10, 15, 20 step models, I don't even know. I didn't, I, like honestly, I had the worst addictions that you can imagine. And knowing that behavior science and these five principles could get you through addictions and save your life is powerful. So I guess my, my point for bringing that up is that I'm not trying to say that NA, AA, all these different things don't have great value because they probably do. I just didn't do any of them. And when I did, it was fake. Like I'd show up because I had to find, 
I found out that the court wanted me to have like a signature on something and I, I just kept playing this game. But it wasn't until I said, I'm gonna dig down and pinpoint what I want. I wanna pinpoint what I'm gonna do every day. I'm gonna stick my nose to the grindstone. I'm gonna self monitor every single morning when, you know, what I need to do, which is the exercise, the things that are incompatible with my addictions. I am I am going to not hold a pull stick because that was a pull stick was paired with playing pool and drinking. I change, manipulate antecedents and consequences. I'm going to self monitor this, and I'm going to text the two people that care about my future. You know, which is hanging on a thread, life or death. I'm going to text and report it out, and hopefully they'll keep me accountable. They they certainly gave me feedback, not everything that I always wanted. And then the pay for performance was what we talked about, the family. I mean, seeing that I can see my daughter at the Montessori school, who I hadn't seen for two weeks because the courts wouldn't allow me. There's no bigger reinforcer than her running into my arms and 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 hugging me. And then not to mention the collateral side effects, uh, good side effects of a business that was half a million in debt to get to eight figures and creating jobs for people. And then seeing that karma and then seeing you guys, find, all I'm saying is, I don't care if you buy the freaking book, but I, I do care that anyone who's listening considers using these scientific principles.